In this ReWorld Engine tutorial, we will take a look at a spring hinge door. Focusing, on how to use hinges and springs. Finally, I'll show you how to glue parts together using the one key split joint. To get us started, select the hinge joint from the toolbar as shown. With the hinge joint selected, I can simply click on the door, and then click the ground to form the hinge. You can see in the work bar, that there is now a hinge joint, inside my door part. To position the hinge properly, select the move tool from the toolbar. And now use the arrows, to move the hinge into position as shown. To easily select the other hinge point, hold down the ALT key while you click to select it. Align the hinge joint, along one edge of the door, as shown. That's looking pretty good, just make any final adjustments, then we can run this to see if the door works. Once you have the hinge in place, click on the door part to deselect the hinge, and click on run to test it. There, that's working pretty good. Although, our door handle fell off. Let's take a look at that now. First, let's look at the settings of the hinge joint. Select the hinge joint, and then take a look on the right side in the properties panel. Click the checkbox next to use spring. This limits the rotational angle of the hinge spring. In my example, I am setting the spring strength to 300, and the damper to 50. Adjust these yourself to control how fast your door springs back. Let's check how that looks now. Yes, the door is springing back to its original position nicely. Okay, let's check the door handle and see how we can glue it in place. The problem we have is, we can't just anchor the door handle parts. Because then the door wouldn't swing open. So instead we need to use a one key split joint. First select all the parts of the door handle, and also select the door part. In the toolbar, select the one key split joint from this drop down as shown. Now look over in the work bar, and you will see that a split joint has been created for each part. This glues all the parts to the door, and allows the door to swing open and close. Let's check it, to see if we can still go through the door. Yes that looks to be working perfectly. The handle, is still attached to the door, and doesn't fall off. And the door still works. Let's look at another example of, the one key split joint. If we have two parts, that we want to glue together. We can do so with a one key split joint. And this will work even, if the parts are not touching each other. So, the part will just fall down, if it's not anchored or glued together with a split joint. Let's add the one key split joint to the two parts now. First select both parts. And choose the one key split joint, from the toolbar as shown. Look in the work bar, under your part, you can see that a split joint has been added to the part which has joined these two parts together. Let's run the game to see, how the split joint affects these two parts. As you can see, these two parts are joined together by the one key split joint, even though they are not touching each other. It's important to remember, that any parts on your door must be unanchored. Because, if they are anchored, the player won't be able to go through the door. This is why we use the one key split joint. For example, I have set the door handle parts, to anchor. Now see what happens, when I try to go through the door. It doesn't move at all. If I toggle the anchored button off, I can get through just fine. That completes this spring hinge door tutorial. Thank you for watching this ReWorld Engine tutorial. Stay tuned for more ReWorld tutorials, see you in the next one.